so hi guys welcome back to my channel q warrior and here we only discuss the interview questions that is asked in almost all the testing interviews and if you are new to this channel so it's very important to subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notification about this channel and today we are going to see another important topic and it's very important to watch this video till the end so let's begin so today's topic is priority and severity of defect so in the prior video we have already seen the bug life cycle and when we talk about the bug life cycle there only uh, we have a concept of priority and severity and QA and the business is the best person to decide the priority and severity of the defect so what do we mean by the priority in sense of defect so priority is urgency of fixing the defect and severity it is impact on the application so priority and severity are these two different terms and in most of the interview questions interview will ask you what is the difference between priority and severity once you will answer these two questions then only he will ask you some more questions uh, like high priority high severity example of high severity low priority so all those kinds of question comes and this is a sure shot question which comes always in manual as well as in automation interviews okay so when i'm talking about priority and severity so it goes hand in hand by the defect okay so most of the people are confused between the defect and the bug so defect is anything that is deviation deviation from the requirement and bug is it is anything result of coding error so for example if i have uh, uh, given my username password and hitting the submit button after uh, hitting the submit button i am seeing a page with lot of errors so that is a result of coding error so that can be considered as a bug but when i talk about defect so for example if i have a e-commerce website whose main purpose is where a client can search for a product they can add that item to a cart but in my case what is happening is that the item is not added to the cart and user is seeing some error user tried several product but he is not able to add item to a cart so this is deviation from the defect and this can be considered as a defect okay now QA is the one who decides the severity of a defect but priority is generally decided by the business stakeholders project manager business analyst and product owner so this priority is and severity is important from the defect point of view because developer comes to know which defect to pick first and fix that defect only by looking into the priority and severity higher the priority developer will pick those defect first and fix those issues and the defect with lower priority or lower severity will be taken at the last okay now let's see what are the different uh, status in the severity and priority so once you are selecting the severity you can select the status as critical major minor low and in priority also you can select the status as immediate high medium and low okay so again the qa is the one who decides the severity of a defect and product manager the ba the product owner they are the correct person to select the priority of a defect they can select any of the status mentioned here okay now when i am talking about the different levels of priority and severity so the first interview question was what is the difference between priority and severity now second question comes the interviewer can ask you to give an example they will not ask you what this exactly means that high priority high severity high priority low severity they will not ask you 
all these kinds of things but they will ask you to tell them example of all the different levels of priority and severity and it is short short question so be very focused till the end of this video okay so here if you are seeing the different levels you can see the priority and severity is categorized into these four levels high priority high severity high priority low severity high severity low priority low severity and low priority okay so we will look into all these different levels of priority and severity one after the another in details okay now first is high severity and high priority okay so this high severity and high priority defect are also called as blockers okay and any critical or major functionality comes under this category okay so any defect due to which the testing cannot continue at any cost or causes a severe system failure fall into this category okay so now let's see the example of this blocker defect okay or high severity and high priority first is that the user is not able to add items to the cart okay so this will be marked as high severity and high priority okay also one of the common example for high severity and uh, high severity and high priority defect is the login functionality if a user is not able to login into the application then he will or she will not be able to proceed with the testing so login functionality can also be considered as high severity and high priority defect now let me tell you practical example of this defect so you went to a atm machine you dispensed the cash you took the cash but after you have uh, taken the cash the atm screen atm machine screen is showing you the wrong balance so it may happen that you will get scared that yes something fraud happened to you on this atm and what this will directly do this will directly impact the business of that particular bank you may close the account of uh, from that particular bank and you can open uh, another account in some other bank so because of this fault or defect in this atm machine you got scared and the business of this bank got impacted now let me tell an example of healthcare sector where there's x-ray machine so in the or x-ray machine or any monitor so in the monitor it is not showing the correct reading but when i am printing the report so i am getting the correct reading so in this case because most of the doctors they don't see the report they watch the monitor first so in that case what will happen is that this is again a high severity and high priority defect because in the monitor it is showing incorrect data even though it is showing correct data in the report okay now let's see another level that is high priority and low severity defect okay so when i tell about high priority and low severity so those defects that do not affect the application come under this category means this is less impact on the business so but priority is high so the example is the logo of the company or the spelling of the website or the name of the website is not coming correctly so let me give you an example like this uh, if i'm talking about a online shopping website flipkart it is uh, displaying as flip crat instead of cart k r t it is showing as k r a t so what will happen that you will be doubtful that whether this is the genuine website or it is a fake website whether you should 
shop on this website or not using your internet banking or using it you may think that it is a phishing website because the spelling is incorrect what it is doing it is directly impacting the business okay now for example if there is a bank website icici bank website and it is appearing as i triple <gasps> i triple ci so what you will do that you will think that this is not a genuine website it is something a phishing website or it is a fake website and you will not log in to that website you will not perform any transaction there and this will impact their business okay so in terms of functionality it is not affecting anything so we can mark as low severity but it has an impact on user experience okay that's the reason it is marked as high priority and low severity so just remember the examples because in most of the interview questions you will be asked to tell them the examples for the different type of priority and severity combination okay now high severity and low priority okay so what happens in this is this is a high severity fault but can be prioritized to a low priority as it can be fixed in the next release okay so for example if there is any functionality or you can say if there is any web page present on a website on hitting that web page you are getting some 404 error the severity is high but the priority is low because it is supposed to be created in the next release it is not ready for this particular release so it will be taken care in the future release so those kind of defect can be considered as high severity and low priority so you can understand or you can uh, tell to the interviewer that any web page on hitting the link if you are getting 404 error which is planned to be created in the future release can be considered under this high severity and low priority also one of the example like uh, a flight operating website where a defect in reservation functionality yeah i understand that it is high severity but it can be a low severity as it is scheduled to release in the next cycle okay now the fourth and important level of severity and priority it is low severity and low priority so any spelling mistake any cosmetic changes any font casing any misalignment in the paragraph can be considered as low severity and low priority so the most famous example is spelling mistake in the privacy policy of the website so it can be taken as low severity and low priority because there is no impact on the business because people also they don't frequently visit that privacy policy okay so these kind of errors with the cosmetic changes falls under the low severity and low priority category okay now let's understand this uh, all the different combination on priority and severity once again okay so if i'm talking about high priority and low severity so it means that a company name is misspelled or the priority and severity is low that's the reason okay now second is high severity and low priority so when i tell high severity and low priority so i told you that web page is not found because that web page is planned to be created in the future release low priority low severity cosmetic changes again uh, error in the privacy policy so any mistake spelling mistake in the privacy policy can be considered under low priority and low severity again high priority and high severity so again 
login functionality user not able to add item to the cart so this is what you have to remember so only two question comes from this topic first is what is priority what is severity another thing is that you have to remember all the different combination of priority and severity with their example so once you give a correct example of priority and severity so the interviewer will have an impression that yes you have the good knowledge about the bug life cycle and there he will not ask any further question on this topic okay so be very very uh, attentive towards what the explanation i gave you on all the different combination of priority and severity so that's all in this video and we will see most interesting and important topics in the upcoming videos please subscribe to my channel and like the videos and also comment down on the video if you have any queries and thank you for watching